Yeah, welcome to the dojo, baby, man. Look, today we're going to be going over how to be assertive, smooth, and seductive. I think today's video is a perfect example compared to all my videos because this, this really will show you that when we talk about dudes who have game, we ever describe a guy, oh yeah, he got a lot of game, he good with women, this and the third. We always see these examples from YouTube and like these dudes have such like personalities that are specific to them. I think Prime will be a good example of how a dude can be chill, laid back. Like just think of Prime, right? This dude right here, his name is Prime Time, right? He hangs with a guy called Miami the Kid. Now a lot of y'all know this, but like I said, I have to talk like, let's say somebody don't know what we're watching. He know he hangs with a guy named Miami the Kid. They call him the smoothest YouTuber on this shit. That's until we start breaking our RLs. But like I was saying, he hangs with Miami the Kid. They call Miami the Kid the smoothest YouTuber. And if you ever seen one of my videos and one of my reactions to him, Miami the Kid's personality is very like oof, like very out there, very outspoken, very energetic. Not not super hype, but he has energy. He talks a lot. He talks loud. He talks confident. You know, he says he's line for line. He'll be like smooth. He'll say something smooth like this and apply pressure in this way. Do this and do that. Primetime, even though that's like his right hand man with this YouTube shit. I don't know about real life. I don't know him. He is like the exact opposite when it comes to the game. He still is good with women. So I wanted to bring out this breakdown because when we say like, oh, yeah, be smooth, be assertive, be seductive, be this. What do you see in your head? And by watching all these YouTube videos with all these other dudes and they approach women and they do this, it's like y'all kind of lose sense of what's normal or how and like how, you know, just the the calm guy can do it. The antisocial guy, the laid back guy, the guy who doesn't talk a lot. Like a lot of y'all watch these videos and think you're supposed to be doing this or think you're supposed to be doing that. And that's not game, bro. Game, this video is going to show you. Game comes in all different sizes, shapes, forms and whatever. Because you got Miami the Kid, who's hyper, energetic, talks a lot. And then you got Prime. Quiet, calm, laid back. Still is able to be assertive without being aggressive. Still is able to apply pressure from being a, a laid back position. So, that's kind of the, some of the fundamentals I wanted to talk about before the video started. And then, like I said, I don't want to be pausing it too much. So, I'm going to just explain these ideas so that when you watch the video, you can see them in practice. Here's a lot of things that you do good. And if you watch all my videos, you're going to hear some of the similar stuff. Number one, tone of voice. Very masculine, very macho, very very cool, calm, and collected. Number two, his cadence. And like like the speed and how fast he talks. He doesn't talk too fast. You know where it's hard for the girl to hear him. He's not talking too fast and talking like... Usually when somebody feels like you're overwhelming them, you're probably talking to them too fast. Because... A good thing that you can have in your game is to realize that you can control the conversation in every way possible, bro. So, for example, if my doctor is going to tell me that my wife is pregnant, right? Right? It's different ways he could say this that can, that can control the conversation. Now, mind you, I might still react how I want to, but the way that the doctor delivers the message has a big impact in like how I receive it for the most part or how it's handled. That's the same thing when you're talking to a woman trying to get her number, talking to her, she might say she got a boyfriend and talking to her and she might be mad at you because you ain't text her back in a while or you ain't call her last night. You control the conversation. Even if she's really mad, you still can control it. And that's a big thing to know when you're spitting game to girls and talking to girls. And that, that'll give you some confidence because a lot of you dudes feel like you're just throwing yourselves to the sharks when you approach a woman. Or if you're talking to a girl on the phone, you're like, what do I say? What do I do? Anything. Literally anything. It's in your hands, bro. You, you want to talk about the stock market with her, you can talk about it. You want to talk about your goals, dreams, and passion, you can talk about it with her. If you eventually want to talk about Dooney Land, the gulag, one-way trip to the Dooney Land in the back of the Dooney van. Being the, you know what I'm saying? You want to talk about that? You can talk about it. You can find a way to... I mean, you could just be blunt. You can find a way to smoothly talk about it. So, like I said, the the speed and how fast somebody talks is a part of that because it's, it's if you talk too fast, you can make somebody feel like they're overwhelmed. If you talk too slow, you could come off as very boring. 
So the thing about his speed, notice his speed when he's talking. He talks very cool, smooth, flows. And like I said, back to that doctor example, being pregnant, there's multiple ways he can say that. He can come in the room with the clipboard. You feel what I'm saying? He can come in the room with the laptop, whatever he got. And he can go, I have some very bad news to tell you. And he can look real worried and sad. I'm like, what? What? Your wife is pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Like, just look at the different movies and how the different actors have to emphasize that delivery when they're acting. It's like that. That is a big part of communication. The nonverbal things. The nonverbal things. Like I said, the speed, his tone of voice, the eye contact. It's his body language. He's laid back. When he was too laid back, the girl said, why are you so far? She could feel this distance. And as men, we so worried about, like, we, we, so, we can become so obsessed with ourselves during the interaction. Like, oh, yeah, what am I supposed to say? That we're missing a lot of the important details. And if I see one, I'm going to point it out, but I'm going to just let the video play at this point. Dojo to the moon, dojo to Saturn, then we leave in the solar system. The lens won't even know we exist. Let's get right to it, bro. I forget which part I'm supposed to skip to, but um, just pay attention to how the conversation is cool, calm, it flows, and everything is like, it's nothing super special, nothing super boring. This is really a good example of how really most conversations go when you're talking to a girl. Again in the mountains. That was cold, huh? <laughs> hey, we can go to this one. I think they asked her where's like the craziest place they had sex. How you go first? Uh, huh? It's been a couple. A couple. Oh my goodness. Nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, 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 that's what's up, yeah. She can't correct, though. Yeah, yeah. she can't correct for sure. Yeah, so what's the craziest place y'all did it at, like? Oh, my goodness. The craziest place. <laughs> I think. You crazy? It's been a couple. Huh? It's been a couple. You the couple. Nah, nah, nah. You go first. You trying to hear what he's talking about? I got to think. I don't know which one. All right. All right. Look, like I was saying, before we get into this, I want y'all to know that the most important thing to notice in this video is that some of y'all might be worried about impressing a girl when you're talking to her or trying to uh, make her f feel like she should want you for some reason. Bro, just be yourself. Just be yourself. You might not be her cup of tea, but somebody else would love your energy. And like I said, the whole purpose of this video is to, to teach y'all that game. There's no one size that fits game. You'll see a whole lot of different dudes with a whole lot of different ways of talking to girls, ways of handling situations, and they have game. They still have game. Even if they have all these different type of personality types, they still have game. And that's why I wanted to show y'all this. It's different broad, it's different spectrums. You know what I'm saying? It's wide range of things you can call you game. Go first. Uh, crazy place. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, mm. Okay, I think I can answer. There's two though, because I can't believe right, it. Well, there's like three. Take three out, say them all. <laughs> <laughs> don't hide it. <laughs> I really don't know. We ain't keep no secrets okay. like the tour, you know. One of them was like at this resort, at this hotel pool. Which is outside in the pool. Yeah, outside the resort. Yeah, this way. Outdoor pool or indoor? Outdoor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Out the country. And then. Oh, so y'all living. Y'all like shit. You know? Yeah. Bro, imagine looking out your window. You hear it clapping louder than thunder. But let's keep the video going. Let's, let's keep the video going. Second one, we was hiking in the mountains. So that was cold, huh? <laughs> was that cold? It wasn't cold. It wasn't cold. It was hot. But we were just hiking and then we felt like we had to. Yeah. Okay, you got that one Bigfoot hunter, bro? Nigga got his full gear on, full drip when, when looking for Bigfoot or searching for like some type of Sasquatch and shit. And he just sees a girl getting clapped. That, you know that ruins somebody's trail, bro. You you know somebody went home traumatized, bro. So who made that move in the mountains? Was you always the guy that made that move in the mountains? In the mountains, it was Yeah, who, 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 who wants some mountain pussy? Oh, okay. Shit might be busting. So what's the third one? The third one? I feel like everybody's done this, though. At a park. Right? Nah, we only want to do that. Oh. <laughs> that. That was going to be one of mine. Yeah, that park, huh? That park, it was like half built. Yeah, running. okay. Hex the camera for you. So what about you, Brian? Uh... First, well, we kind of got some uh, places. Uh, my mom was in a hotel pool, but it was indoor. Yeah, okay. Yeah, indoor pool. Um, first started off in the water, then we took it to the bathroom. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. We ain't making it to the room. We going. Yeah. Close we, we couldn't make it to the room. Uh, <laughs> then, um, no, oh, shit. I forgot about this one. Um, in a mall, um, in one of them stores in the... Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it's in a uh, fitting room, huh? Yeah, oh, I, damn. Uh, I, I had never them, did that yet. I, like I seen her taking off her shots. You said it's over. Yeah, it's fitting room. You closed in. You feel me? So. 
even just him explaining this story, bro, like, even him, even him, like, remembering something, sounding surprised is still from a calm place of just his, you know, a controlled energy, bro. Like, a lot of y'all dudes is so, like, what's the word I can use? Like, so, so childish in the way y'all talk and handle things. Like, you're like, oh my, bro, bro. Like, did you, have, did you really have to do all that, bro? And, and you know, from another woman's perspective, or, you know what I'm saying, from a, even another person, not just a woman, it's like you're very, like, childish. It's like, like that would become a turnoff. But if that's you, if that's your energy, if that's how you express yourself, bro, then shit, do you. Don't change for nobody. But at the end of the day, you got to realize that when we're dealing with women, you don't need to be anything but yourself. And I think that's where a lot of dudes go wrong is because... They have this picture of a smooth man in their head and they're trying to be that picture. They're trying to live up to that standard of who they think is smooth. When my uncle was real smooth, he used to do this and talk to women like this, so I gotta be like that. No, you don't. And you don't have to do that to be successful. And I'm telling y'all, just look at this energy and she's still gonna end up liking him even though he's not. Like, even though his, his gonna got crazy energy. So, you can turn up in there for real. Yeah, and then um, um, on the side of a house. Yeah, outside. <laughs> outside right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, then. Yeah, okay. You got some Paul? Oh, yeah. So, how many bodies y'all Inside of the house is crazy. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 I know, I know Prime yeah. never got to be up there. Oh, oh, <laughs> got oh. Uh, we got to be. We're too grown for this question. Nah, nah answer that. Nah, nah, answer nah, that. Nah, I, ain't that. I ain't gonna lie to be honest. No, that me. I, I, I don't know my body count. No, that me. Ah, answer that. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Got, oh, uh, we got to be grown for this question. Nah, answer that. Nah, answer that. I ain't gonna lie to be honest. I, I, I don't know my body count. Okay. So look, look, I ain't doing this last last video. So yeah, I don't. Know. Is it more fifty? Is 50? more than fifty? Damn, I do not want to say. Damn, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Can we drink instead of answering this question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
two, three. Okay. Damn it, bright as fuck. Hey, <laughs> oh. Come on, we got the Migos in the back just hyped the fuck out of the Hey, matter of fact, I'm gonna top it up a little bit. Here. 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 You know what I'm saying? I need a bottle. I'm gonna let you know what I'm saying? Before I get the run in my mouth, I'm gonna take me a shot. Let's go. I'll chat it up. Not the Henny, I can't. Hand off. It's the Henny, you feel me? You don't know how I get off that hand off. Boom. Boom. Teasing her. Teasing her, and a simple way to define teasing is showing somebody something that they want but can't have yet. That's the basic definition of teasing somebody. Giving them a sneak peek of something that they want but they can't have it yet. You don't know how I get off that hand dog. She on, she could be on some, damn, I wanna find out type time. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and, or she could challenge him. She, Boy, what you mean you don't know how you get? Do you know how I get? Like, it could go both ways with teasing, bro. Like, just know that it's all about... Let me turn that off for you. Just know it's all about, like, giving somebody a sneak peek or, or you know, baiting something in their face that they can't have yet. But you know they might want it deep down inside. Hey, look at that. Yes, sir. Turn me up. Hey, you look good, too. Damn. Oh, okay. Y'all about to okay. definitely leave. Boom, compliments. Y'all know how I feel about compliments. Y'all know I say I, I don't compliment women at all. But I don't, I don't tell y'all not to do that. I'm just telling y'all what I get away with and how I do it. Now, I explain that deeper on my Patreon, how to get away with outcoming a girl in the long term, too. Because I'll be in whole 9-month, 12-month situations with girls and not have given them more than three compliments. I swear to God on my life. So, when it comes to the compliments, bro, like you have two types of compliments. You have kiss-your-ass compliments. And you have... Like I'm telling you something that that like like I'm like seducing you like I'm like like flirting with you type of compliments and that's dudes who give compliments to women they have it good and they have game they have better timing they're not just approaching her and saying yo you're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my life can I get your number that's bad game because you don't understand the timing of when to use that compliment I don't even use compliments and I know how to use them. It's just because I don't use them no more ever since I found out that you don't even need that to bag a girl, get a number, and talk to her, none of that. But like I said, though, general rule of thumb, if the compliment is kissing her ass, don't give it to her. See, he wasn't kissing her ass when you tell her, like, ooh, and you look good, too. I like. He gonna say something like, I like what I see. He didn't give her a comment before he saw her. He waited till he saw her, and then, and then finally got his approval or his, his golden stamp. You know, Hair done, nails done. I like what I see. Yes, sir. I like what I see a lot. Good. He calmly Maybe. said, You don't seem too excited. Like, oh my god, you're so gorgeous. No, I'm from California. Oh, you're a Cali girl? Yeah. I heard about my Cali girl. What'd you hear? They got that water. Of course. Okay. <laughs> that water. That's good. That's good. I got a surf boy. Where did you get the lines from? The nigga don't miss. He set himself up for his own punchline. Needless to say, you know how many different girls he probably said that to? Come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. If he actually said she was from the Saturn, he'd be like, oh, you from Saturn? I heard about y'all Saturn, girl. Like, bro, I'm, I guarantee you, no matter what location she would have said, he probably would have said the same thing. Set himself, listen, chess. And the comments, he nigga playing chess with the conversation in the calmest way possible. Controlling the whole conversation. They don't even realize it. it was some calm shit, though. From a position of being laid back and real chill about it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Maryland. Maryland. Yeah, you don't know nothing about Maryland. I really don't, actually, so show me. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna show you. Ooh. Are you? I'm gonna be the first. I'm gonna be the first to show you. We gonna see it again. Demon see. time. Man, we got a level 75 boss in Demon Dooney Lens right here. Yeah, you can definitely be my friend. You drink? What do you drink? Any uh yes, Casamigos. Duce. Duce. You like you say, like I hope so. I don't like dirt. You don't like dirt. No. So you bring any? I know because you that's, that's, saying, that's the only thing. I just want to shout out the dudes in the back for allowing this man to handle his business. Because a lot of times we watch these blind dates and the dudes in the back be interfering, bro. Like, it's not your date, buddy.
Just to listen, just relax and stay in the back. But these dudes, they let him prom talk, they let him do his thing. Good shit, bro. Good. I like how she goes represent. You just drinking it because it's on deck, huh? Yeah. I mean, I drink anything. Not gonna lie, but I like how she goes today. Yeah, what you right. saying? Hey. <laughs> you see that you wanna drink anything? Like, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, For sure, nah. Get it, man. man. Where you be finding these girls, man? Dooney Land. Oh, yeah. No way he gets him from. Okay. Man, look, let's play Truth or Dare, though. We're going to play the Truth or Dare. Oh, Truth or Demon. Oh. Truth or Demon. That's what this is about to be. I'm going to tell you right now. You better play Truth or Dare, you feel me? So who first? Who, who, who want to be first, man? I want Truth to start off. Oh, okay, boom. Truth or Dare? Truth. Yeah. Is this true, Dad? Boom. Also, another, notice this, too, with this video. And if you and you really want to hear me out on this, you, we go. You can see all my other videos where we react to blind dates, and you'll notice the difference. Look at this. Her body language is towards him. She's leaning over towards him, trying to get closer to him, and get comfortable in that direction. Prime's body language is this: pulling back, laid back, pulling away from her, getting comfortable like that. And watching later in the video, she's gonna say something about that. She's gonna go, "Why are you so far?" Yeah. But just notice that, like, like her saying that, it's showing you that that she wants him to get closer and shit like that. Like, not all women is gonna be that bold. But let's say you chilling with a girl, and you feel like you too far from her, or she's too far from you, or you know you're not how, aligned how you supposed to be. Be a man. Be assertive. Tell her to come here. Tell her to get closer. See, being assertive is not about being. It's not forcing something. It's coercion when you force something. You want to be assertive with persuasion. You, now, in that case, if you if you saying something like "come here" or "come closer," you're persuading her with your seductiveness, right? Your smoothness. But the whole part of persuasion is you make somebody want something. You lead her. Tell her, "Come here, come closer. I, I want you. I want you with me. I want. I want to be closer with you." Anything wrong with that? You know what I'm saying? Just tell her straight up, bro. Oh and, and, and assertiveness is always better when it's when it's timed right, when it makes sense. So you don't want to just like she just got over the crib and you like take your clothes off right now. Like the fuck, nigga? What is she gonna be like? What the hell did I just walk into? But let's say she come over your house, or you talking to her, or it's a difference if she already knew. Let's say she already knows it's demon time before she gets to your door, then you can probably do something like that. You could probably be like, like, I'm about to go do this, and by the time I get back, I better not see nothing on you. That's if she already know what time it is, when time she come over. But if she just coming over and you could you could sell your own bread or fumble your own back by being too pushy on her, assertiveness becomes all about timing at that point. When does it make sense to say what you're going to say? How will you tell when it makes sense? Just think of like what you've done so far. It's, it's a way to escalate things, and I can make a whole video on about this, let me know. It's a way to escalate things smoothly. First, I'm gonna do this. Then I'm gonna let her get comfortable first. Then I'm gonna tell her, you know what I'm saying, take off your shoes. Then we gonna talk for a little bit, probably 10 minute, 15 minute conversation. Then I'm gonna just, you know what I'm saying, hold her. Then I'm gonna do this. Then I'm do like, it's, it's different ways to progress. You don't wanna just jump straight into something. Y'all both great on- Cause just remember that with women, bro, and, and with women being turned on and escalating and the women climaxing in bed, the sexual penetration is not the end all be all for them. See, we, we just beat the doonies and we, we finish. With them, they're all about stuff like that. Sexual tension can make her wet. Before you even touch her or say anything to her, the sexual tension in the room can make her wet. Her this her own mind can make her wet. Her own exact, like, uh, she starts shaking. Like, she, I want him to do this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she will go crazy just based on the thought. And the desire and the tension of that. Being nasty is a tent? Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Easy question, like. Yeah. Okay, easy. Okay. Chip right there, bro. That must mean, hold on, hold on. She that must mean what? She might be real nice. She just rated herself. That's tea. No. Okay. okay. What would you rate yourself? Go on, no. I know I rate myself a tea. Okay. No comments. Yeah, I got somebody mm. to match my fly. Look at that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right. Demon time. She tell us true. Okay. Oh. 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 Yeah, yeah. Who that? 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 Who that?
Wait, they're about to some crazy shit, bro. Now we going on. I remember this. I used this lick her neck for like 10 seconds. 10? That's a long time. That was the day. That was the day. And five seconds, five. Damn. Ten seconds, bro. My nigga might as well just be a fucking vampire or something. Might as well audition for Twilight. Five seconds. Five, five. Turn me up. Turn me up. Five seconds. For the viewers, for the viewers. All right, let's see. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's move the hell. Show that to the other one, chat. She's all excited. Look at her. Okay. All right. Okay, let's see. You ready? Yeah, I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna cut it out. Hey, this is an exclusive video cut. I don't even be. I got it. 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 I she know what she on, bro. She know what she on now. Look at her, but she happy as shit now, bro. Oh, yeah. Look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> Y'all crazy. <laughs> hey. She in the back uh, dying, bro. Who <laughs> <laughs> rich? Hey, oh, man. I got to Y'all, man. So look, though. Y'all, man. The camera had down, y'all. But now we back. You yeah. feel me? Oh. We back. You know what I'm saying? So it's on you, right? Yeah. yeah. So two for right there. Oh, I like you. Got, you gotta go crazy. You were you were there. I got some kids like that. You got that. I got some kids. You got that. I got some kids. You like it? No, I don't want to hear anymore. Bro, why they so excited in the back, bro? Like, oh creeps, bro. I dare you to um touch his little body. down. Go ahead. Okay. One, two. Bro, this part was low key weird as shit to me, bro. So you got prom happy as shit looking at her. You got this nigga looking down. What are you looking at, bro? Let's be real. What are you looking at right now? I know you watching her hand, but where is she reaching? You know what you're looking at right now. Fire for that. Fire for that. You got my man licking his lips now. Like what is this scene was low key Three, weird. This part was low key four, weird, bro. Five, okay. six. Oh, 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 oh. Then mind you, look at her face while she's doing it. She just goes straight demon mode. Oh, five, okay. Six. Oh, 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 Hey, I ain't gonna cap y'all. Bro, we might, need, hit it, man. we might need a part two, man. We might need a part two. Man. Yeah, man, we, get right here, head, dog. we might need a part two, y'all. But look, that's hey, crazy. Hey, video sponsored by Henny, man. Free, free <laughs> shout out, man. Don't Anything is possible, <laughs> baby. So, look, so. Yeah, I think y'all gonna link up after this video. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, oh, okay. it's bad. Yeah. Ooh, like I said, we need a part two. We doing a part two, y'all. Look, oh, like this video right now, subscribe, comment, you know what I'm saying? Finna link up right now. Yeah, y'all gonna link up after this video. Peep game. Peep game, peep game, right here, right here. This might be a little gem for y'all. You see how he asked her that? And she looked for his answer first? A little, little small detail. You're gonna recognize it when it come through, but like, if, if I'm just saying it right now, you're not really gonna peep it into the situation. Notice when, like, let's say a girl is telling you something, right? I'm trying to figure out how to set this scenario up outside of this, like, this setting where it's three niggas in the back of the car giving them a, a situation. But just like peep, when when somebody looks at you like this, when somebody like looks for your answer, that's how you know that you decide you really have the power in the situation. Even if they're telling you something else. Let's say she says, well, we're not going over there. Like you could you could be like, so where where you wanna go then? How about if we go here instead? Why, you know what I'm saying? Like when they look for you, and they, they, when they throw it back on you when it's time to control the situation or the circumstance or the outcome, I'm trying to I'm trying to make this as general as possible so that when you get put in a situation, you'll be able to recognize what I'm talking about. But basically, like I said, but what I'm saying is like, if a girl ever look at you for this type of answer or like, this is how you know you're in control. This is how you know you're leading the conversation. This is how you know she wit all the smoke. She wit everything. I'm not going to say everything, but... 
This is how you know she's with it based on how you handle it. When she's really looking to you for the, the leadership in this situation. And so that that look to her, like the way she looked at him when they asked him this when they asked this question to everybody, they didn't ask him this. They said, Where are y'all going after this? And she she looked at him like, Where are we going? Type shit. That's basically how I wanted to explain it, bro. Okay, so look. But in this situation, the guys in the back are putting it out in the air. This won't really happen if you're you know, you just with the girl. It'll probably be some shit where like she asks you a question and then she looks at you and she waits to see what you're gonna say. Just realize in that situation you have all the power in the world to handle whichever way it goes. No. Don't fumble that. Y'all yeah, gonna leak up after this video? Yeah. Okay, oh, it's bad. Oh, like I said, we need a part two. We're doing a part two, y'all. Look, oh, like this video right now, gonna, subscribe, copy. See, see, a, a, a nigga that don't recognize his power in a situation, here another part. A time to be assertive. That was the perfect time to be assertive. And then let's say they that let's say that they didn't um let's say that they didn't what's it called? Ask this question. A way for him to bring this up could have been, so where are we going after this blind date? He could have said something to her. So where are we going after this blind date? And she'd be like, shit, I don't know. Or are we going here? Your girl asks you, let's go up. Let's, you, like a lot of y'all dudes will ask a girl on a date and you don't even know where you want to go, what you want to do. It's easier to be assertive when it makes sense. Just remember that, bro. Let's see how much, much longer this goes. You know, I'm gonna link up right now. Oh, right oh, now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I hate wasting time. How the fuck would I do that? All right. I like what I see. Okay. Demon time. Yeah, we, we gonna do whatever you wanna do. You wanna go to eat? Do whatever you wanna, wanna do. Eat, do. You choose. You choose. Okay. 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 Look up. Look up. Look up. Okay. Look up. 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 Now, a limp, like I said, the reason I made such a big deal about that situation when she looked at him, because another dude won't recognize the power that they have in that situation, and they're going to fumble the ball. They're going to mess it up by saying some dumb shit. A way you could have messed it up, you could have said something like, I don't know. It's up to you. I don't know. What you think? I don't, I, I don't know. It's up to her. It's, I, don't, I don't know. Like, you really messed that up by being weak and lacking that assertiveness. Put your foot down. Tell her what you want. Know what you want. And speak on that. Ain't nothing wrong with feeling how you feel, bro. Whatever y'all want to do. I want to, um, before we end this video, I need to see like a 360 or something. I need to see him standing up. That boy, horny as hell, bro. Let's oh, yeah. bring it outside. Nigga hornier than a rhino, bro. Come on, bro. Bring it outside. Let's bring it outside. Bring it outside. Yeah, yeah. I, I got to see all 360. Let me see. Let me see. Come on. Okay. Yo. W -D. W -D. Oh, yeah, we oh, y'all linking up. Okay, then. Yeah, okay, then, oh, man. So, look, yeah. man, this might be a new company. Who knows? You feel me? Who knows? You feel me? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? And bro, for that nigga that just drove by in that truck, he has to be so confused, bro. He just watched five people get out of one car. And, man, it's two cameramen. And the guy spin the girl like this. Like, this nigga, like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, like I said, look. Okay. And she got the big B on the. Okay. Right. Oh, shit, I said, y'all, man. Look. Perky. Like this video right now. Subscribe, comment, turn that bell. Look. Run everybody up right now. You hey, feel me? Like, run everybody me up. Prime Time Hiller TV, man. It's going down on that channel as well. Yeah, yeah you're good, man. Go follow everybody. IG, man. D Lil Do It All. YouTube hey, Fresh what? X Reckless. You hear me? You did. Find him on the ground. JV, MELJ. I wanted them the kids, but. Demon Time. Dojo to the moon to set and then we leaving the solar system the limps won't even know we exist.